Hi everyone and welcome to Techie Review. AMD have recently released the Adrenaline 2020 drivers for their graphics card, but unfortunately if you want to get these for your 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro, you're going to have to wait till Apple have officially released them, but not all's lost. If you head over to bootcampdrivers.com, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below, you can get a modified version of these drivers to install. In today's video, I'm going to compare the official bootcamp drivers with the new red gaming drivers and the blue enterprise drivers. I'll be running 3D Mark Time Spy, and I'm going to see if any of the new drivers have fixed these graphical glitches that we're seeing within Call of Duty Mod Warfare, and we're also going to check out the frames per second. If this is the first time to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe to see more videos like this, and without further ado, let's get started. So the first test is using the official bootcamp drivers and we can see we've got a score of 3176. In the second test we're using the gaming red drivers and the actual score has dropped and we've got an overall score of 2993. And in the last one, we're using the Enterprise Blue Drivers, and the score's gone up, and we've got a score of 3,284. So next, I wanted to run Call of Duty Modern Warfare with each of the drivers. Now, as you can see, we're using the bootcamp drivers and frames per second are quite low and it is very glitchy. We've seen lots of graphics glitches all over the place. In the second Call of Duty test, I've installed the red gaming drivers and straight away we can see that the graphics glitches have been fixed and the frame rate count has gone up to sort of over 60 and in some cases over 100 frames per second which makes it much more playable. Free for all. And for the final test, we've gone with the blue Enterprise drivers. And again, graphics glitches have been fixed and we're seeing a really high frame rate count. Domination. I was consistently seeing frame Back rates over 70 frames per second. And playing with the Enterprise drivers for several games, these did seem a lot smoother and made the game a lot more playable. So for me, these are the drivers that I'll be using going forward. Now, I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you've got any questions or any comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you all next time.